Exercise 11 day, question number 1. Uh, a particle is moving in a straight line given that uh, uh, there is a data is given s equals 0 and t equals 0 for everything. Uh, we need to find the displacement v is given. So v is given a that is uh, 3t square minus 1, we need to find the displacement. So displacement S is when we integrate V in terms of dt. So what is the V value? That is going to be 3t square minus 1 dt. So we can integrate this one, 3 t cube over 3 minus uh, 1 t over 1 plus c that is t 3 to 3 cancel out t cube minus t plus c so now we need to find this constant so the data is given to find the constant when when uh, s equals 0 t equals 0 we will substitute this one 0 equal 0 cube minus 0 plus c. This will show that c equal 0. It means s equal t cube minus t plus uh, c is 0. So this is the uh, displacement uh, equation. Part b, still we need to find the displacement. Uh, we need to integrate velocity in terms of dt so what is the velocity is given this one 2t cube minus uh, 3t square over 2 so dt this is going to be 2 times t 4 over 4 minus 3 over 2 2, 3 over 3 plus c. So this is going to be half a t4 minus half a t3 plus c. Now when we sub uh, s equals 0, t equals 0, we will get uh, 0 equals 0, half a 0, 4 minus half a 0, q plus c. This will show c equal 0. Then the equation is s equal half a t4 minus half a t cube. So if we simplify, we can take half a t cube t minus 1. We'll write when s equal 0, t equal 0. Part c is uh, again, we need to find the displacement. We need to integrate the velocity. So integrate v is given to t square root half mean half a power square root t mean that is 4t square times dt. So then this is going to be 2 uh, t 3 over 2 divided by 3 over 2 plus 4t cube over cube plus c. Now, this is going to be 4 over 3 t, 3 over t plus 4 over 3 t cube plus c. When s equals 0, t equals 0. So, we will substitute this data, this coordinate. Then, this is going to be 0, 4 over 3, 0, 3 over 2 plus 4 over 3, uh, 0 cube. Uh, plus c. This will give c equal 0. Hence s equal 4 over 3 t 3 over t plus 4 over 3 t cube. So when uh, s 4 over 3 t cube when you this is going to be t half uh, or we'll take 4 over 3 and uh, 
we can keep like this as well t half times 4 over 3 t square or it's better to keep uh, in this form actually 4 over 3 t1 3 over 2 plus t cube exercise 11d question 2 um, we need to find the velocity and um, two data is given v equals 0 t equals 0 uh, part a uh, acceleration is given a equal 8t minus uh, 2t square now we need to find the this is the acceleration so we need to find the velocity relationship velocity equation for velocity so now we have to integrate this one velocity equal when we integrate a dt so when we do a is 8t minus 2t square dt so this is going to be 8t square over 2 minus 2t cube over 3 plus c so this is 4t square minus 2 over 3t cube plus c so when uh, v equals 0 t equals 0 so this is 0 equals 0 minus 0 uh, plus c so this will imply c is 0 hence uh, the equation is v equal 8t square divided by 2 to 3 cube over 3 and part b is still we need to find the acceleration uh, velocity so we have to integrate the uh, acceleration to get the velocity uh, a is given in the second part 6 plus t cube over 3 then that is dt so this is going to be 6 t plus 1 over 3 t 4 over 4 plus c so when uh, v equals 0 when uh, t equals 0 v equal 0 then 0 equal 0 plus 0 plus c c is c 0 hence uh, v equal 6t plus this is going to be uh, t4 over 12 and uh, that's all that's a correction need to be done this is t square so over 3 so this is going to be t3 over 3 and this is t3 over 3 times 3 9 Question number three, the particle P is moving on the x-axis, particle me moving on the x-axis, at time t the velocity is given of the particle of okay. V is given uh, 8 plus 2t minus 3t square, the direction x is increasing, okay. it's moving to this direction at t equal 0 uh, x equal 4 that's a coordinate given uh, 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 t and x so t equal 0 x equal 4 and find the distance from when t equal 1 so we need to find the distance s uh, when t equal 1 so we have a velocity relationship now this velocity relationship we want to turn into a uh, displacement so s equal when you integrate v dt so s equal 8 plus 2 t minus 3 t square integration dt so this is 8 t plus 2 t cube over 3 3 Uh, this is uh, 
square over 2 plus c. So, 8t plus t square minus t q plus c and s. Now, they have given a data. Uh, the displacement. Uh, this is a t and s. When t equals 0, s equal 4. When t equals 0, s equal 4. So, this coordinate satisfies this equation basically. Then we can find, only c we doesn't know, we can find c. So, this is going to be s equal 4. Now, this is 0 plus 0 minus 0 plus c. So, c value is 4. Now, we have the equation s equal uh, 8t minus t square minus t cube uh, plus 4. Now we want to find when t equal 1 we need s. So we'll substitute uh, s equal 8 times I rather like to put in the brackets 1 square 1 cube plus 4 that is 8 minus 1 minus 1 plus 4 12 minus 2 that is going to be 12 meter question number 4 the particle p is moving on the x-axis so uh, p is uh, particle p moving on the uh, x-axis Um, acceleration equation is given that is 16 minus 2t and when t equals 0 v equals 6 so coordinate is given uh, t and v when t equals 0 v equals 6 and then uh, time and uh, displacement is given when t equals 0 uh, S is 75. So we need to find V in terms of T A. It means we need to find the velocity V. So V is when we integrate A dt V we can get the velocity. So A is 16 minus 2 T dt. So this is 16 minus 16t minus 2t square over 2 plus c that is 16 minus t square plus c now we know that this is when uh, t equals 0 v equals 6 so this is going to be so this will give c equal 0 hence uh, b equals 16 minus T square sorry um, the V value is 6 actually so then this will give not it is 6 C equal 6 so this is going to be 6 part B we need to find um, the value of uh, X is given this is uh, equal to S actually S when t equal uh, 0 so now we need to find uh, the displacement equation for displacement so we have to integrate uh, velocity we found out that now integrate uh, 16 t minus t square plus 6 dt so this is going to be 16 t square over 2 minus t cube over 3 plus 16t plus d. So, now another data is given when uh, t equals 0, displacement is 75. We can substitute when uh, t equals 0 is equal 75. So, 75 equal 16 times uh, 0. One third zero plus six zero plus d. So d value is going to be seventy five. Then we have an equation 
uh, 16 divided by 2 that is 8 t square 1 over 30 60 plus 75 sorry i need to do one more correction that this is t equal not 0 that is 3 then uh, this is going to be 3 3 and 3 3 square 3 cube and 3 then we will get when you solve this one d you will get as uh, seventy five equal eight times nine minus nine plus uh, eighteen plus d uh, d value is minus six then the equation we will get uh, sc equal 8t square minus t cube over 3 plus 6 t minus 6 so now we want to find the question is when uh, it's t equal 0 s value the displacement value when t equal 0 s is 8 0 uh, cube 3 plus 6 0 minus 6 s equal minus 6 so magnitude of displacement is 6 question number 5 a particle is moving along a straight line um, and the relationship is given with the velocity and the time v equal 60 square minus 51 t plus 90. Uh, when t equals 0, displacement is 0. Uh, t equals 0, s equals 0. I think this is the starting place. Displacement is 0, t equal 0. To have acceleration or no velocity, the particle has to move. So the particle is still at the, the starting point. Um, so the question is, find the distance uh, of P from uh, O where find the distance between two points where P is instantaneously at rest. So somewhere here V becomes zero. So maybe there are two values of T for this one. So we need to find this distance S. Uh, let's say distance uh, S1. So we want to find this distance S1. First of all, we need to find these two times when we equal zero so we'll solve this equation when uh, v equal zero uh, 60 square minus 51 t plus 90 equal zero can divide by 3 2 t square minus 70 plus 30 equal zero so i can find the bracket and t minus 6 equals 0, t equal 5 over 2 or t equal 6. So this is uh, 2.5 for 5 over 2 and t equals 6. So we need to find the distance. Now we need the distance equation. So we have to integrate uh, s uh, v dt. When we integrate the uh, velocity equation, we will get the um, displacement equation so 60 square minus 51 t plus 90 uh, dt so s equals 6 t cube over 3 minus 51 t square over 2 plus 90 t plus c now we know that when t equals 0 when t equals 0 s equal 0 so everything is 0 0 equal 0 minus 0 plus 0 so c equal 0 then 
is equal uh, 6 6 divided by 3 2 t cube this is going to be 51 over 2 51 over 2 t square plus 90 t let's calculate uh, when t equals 6 s1 equal uh, 2 6 cube minus 51 over 2 6 square plus 9 times 6 this is 1 and is 2 is equal s1 when t equal 5 over 2 is equal s2 then s2 equal 2 5 over 2 square minus 51 over 2 5 over 2 this is cube and this is square and 90 times 5 over 2 this is equation 2 so 1 minus 2 is 1 minus uh, is 2 we will get the answer as minus 42.875 uh, minus 42.9 uh, approximately uh, the distance is 42.9 meter question number six particle is moving on a straight line uh, starting from o when uh, t equals zero uh, this is the point O and uh, velocity is given by the equation of uh, 12 plus t minus uh, 60 square so we need to find the distance this uh, terms from O which is S we need to find when v equals zero so we'll find now when we the time when v equals zero when v equals zero 12 plus t minus 16 t square equals zero other way 16 is equal minus uh, 12 equal zero so this is 2 t plus 3 times t minus uh, this is uh, 3t plus 4 uh, 2t minus 3 equal 0 t equal minus 4 by 4 or t equal uh, 3 over 2 uh, as t greater than or equal to 0 uh, t equal 3 by 2 so this is the time when we equal 0 now s equal 12 plus t minus t equal sorry v we need to find s distance equation so we have to integrate the velocity to get the distance then uh, integrate 12 plus t minus 60 square dt so this is going to be 12 t plus t square minus 2 60 cube over 3 plus c 12 t plus uh, t square divided by 2 uh, 3 uh, 2 t cube plus c so when uh, t equals 0 uh, particle is at o it means t equals 0 is equal 0 so then 0 equal 12 0 this value plus 0 minus 0 plus c c equal 0 now s is 12 t plus t square over 2 minus 2 t cube now we need to find uh, when 
uh, is uh, when t equal uh, 3 by 2 so we will find that one so it's equal 12t plus t square divided by 2 2t cube and uh, 12 times 3 over 2 plus 3 over 2 square uh, half a times minus 2 times 3 over 2 cube so when you solve you will get 12.4 meter approximately question number 7 particle p is moving from the origin on x uh, x axis so velocity is given uh, by this formula for uh, t minus t square uh, question a is uh, when p is at rest we need to find the distance question a we need to find s when v equal zero so first of all we'll find the time that uh, v equal zero for that uh, when v equal zero for t minus t square equal zero t times 4 minus t equal 0, t equal 0 or t equal 4. So, so the distance we need to find is uh, we have to integrate v uh, the velocity when we integrate we will get the displacement equation we see 4t minus t square times dt so 4t square over 2 t cube over 3 plus c so s equal 2t square minus t cube plus c when t equal 0 s equal 0 because it's at the origin so then uh, we will get that 0 equal 0 minus 0 plus c c equal 0 s equal to t square minus t cube divided by 3 so when uh, when t equal 4 distance is um, 2 4 square minus 4 cube over 3 so s equal 2 times 16 minus uh, 64 over 3 so this distance is going to be 10 2 over 3 part b we want to find the distance travel this it mean uh, up up to t equal 5 the distance so we'll find uh, when uh, t equal 5 s is uh, 2 times 5 square minus 5 cube over 3 so this value is going to be uh, 8 1 over third now we need to find the distance of uh, this is 10 uh, 2 over 3 and we found this distance is 8 1 over third so then this distance is 10 minus uh, 10 2 over third minus uh, 8 1 over third so then uh, the distance is distance travel uh, during 5 seconds is 10.10 10 2 over 3 plus this difference uh, this distance 10 2 over 3 minus 8 1 over third so this is going to be 10 2 over third plus 2 1 over third so this is going to be 10 
plus 3 that is 13 meter 10 and this is add to this one it's going to be 3 out of 3 make uh, 3 out of 3 make 1 or just uh, delete this one the final answer is 13 meter uh, question number 8 a particle P moving on X axis uh, from the origin O and uh, find the two non zero values uh, of T when P passes through O. So, two non zero values uh, of T when uh, this one passes, particle passes through O. So, we have the relationship is given with the uh, velocity so we need to find the, the displacement because when it passes through O mean displacement is zero we don't know about the V so then uh, S equal V dt we need to integrate as usual uh, 60 square minus 20 60 plus 15 uh, dso 6 t cube over 3 minus 26 t square over 2 plus 15 t plus c uh, and uh, when uh, now i need to find c we know that when t equals 0 c equal s equal 0 the starting point so this is 0 equals 0 minus 0 plus 0 equals C. So C is 0. Now S is we have 2 T cube minus 13 T square uh, plus 15 T. Um, yes, that's all. Uh, then we can factorize now. So this is a cubic equation when s equals 0 we can should have three answers so let s equal 0 as uh, t passes uh, origin or we can write uh, when uh, P is at origin uh, S equals 0. I will solve the equation now. 2T cube minus 13T square plus 15T equals 0. T factor out 2T square. 13T plus 15 equals 0. So this is going to be T 2T minus 3. And... Uh, t minus 5 equals 0 so t equals 0 t equal 3 over 2 or t equal 3 so there are three times this is the starting one then 1.5 time one after one point second it passes origin and again after three second it passes origin this is uh, 5 t minus 5 this is 5 Question number nine: A particle P moves along the x-axis. So a particle P move along the x-axis, and uh, the velocity relationship is given three uh, t square minus twelve t plus five. Question eight: Value of the t when P passes the origin. So then uh, value of t when particle passes the origin it means it is a relationship when t equals 0 is equal 0 so apply this condition so we need to get to the displacement uh, relationship so s equal v d t so 3 t square minus 12 t plus 5 times dt so this is going to be 3t cube over 3 minus 2 
the 2 plus 5 t plus c that is s s and this is t cube minus 6 t square plus 5 t plus c when uh, t equals 0 s equals 0 given so then 0 equals 0 minus 0 plus 0 plus c so c equals 0 hence uh, s equal t cube minus 6 t square plus 5 t plus c now when p is at o then uh, s equal 0 and t equal 0 given they as a data given so then we'll make it equal to 0 t cube minus 60 square plus 5t so c is 0 now equal 0 t times t square minus 6 plus 5 uh, 5 equal 0 t times t minus 1 t minus 5 equal 0 t equal 0 t equal 1 or t equal 5 so those are the times that uh, S is 0. The particle is at the origin. And part B, we want to find the distance uh, traveled by 2 greater than t greater than 3 in between uh, this period. So we want to know um, the instantaneous uh, uh, rest in this particle. Uh, basically, if it is go like this, a stop and then come back and so this is the motion so um, we'll find when v equals 0 so what are the values uh, we need to find uh, when v equals 0 3t square this one minus 12t plus 5 equals 0 t equal minus uh, minus 12 plus 4 minus minus 12 square minus 4 times uh, a times a times c5 divided by 2 times uh, 3 so when you simplify this one with the calculator so i got 0 0.47 and 3.52 so positive answers it means still uh, the direction is same so particle does not turn around and so particle stay in the same direction between 2 greater than 3 greater than 3. Now we need to find uh, s equal to uh, when when t equal to t equal to s equal let's say s s2 so s2 equal 2 cube minus 6 uh, 2 square plus 5 times 2 so this answer we will get as minus 6 and s3 when uh, when t equal 3 s equal s3 let's take s3 equal 3 cube minus 6 3 square plus 5 times 3 so that is going to be uh, minus 12 so then uh, the distance uh, assume this is up to here 6 and this is up to here 12 and uh, then uh, this difference is well so this difference is 6 so 
డిఫరెన్స్ ఓ ట్రావెల్ డిస్టెన్స్ ట్రావెల్ డిస్టెన్స్ ఇన్ బిట్వీన్ వెన్ సి టూ గ్రేటర్ దాన్ త్రీ గ్రేటర్ దాన్ త్రీ ఈజ్ ట్వెల్వ్ మైనస్ సిక్స్ ఈజ్ సిక్స్ మీటర్ క్వశ్చన్ నంబర్ టెన్ ద పార్టికల్ ఈజ్ బి మూవ్ ఇన్ ఆన్ యాజ్ యూజువల్ ఇన్ ద ఎక్స్ డిరెక్షన్ అండ్ యాక్సలరేషన్ ఈజ్ గివన్ ఫోర్ టీ మైనస్ త్రీ అండ్ వెన్ టీ ఈక్వల్ జీరో వి ఈక్వల్ ఫోర్ and t equal t also v equal 4 this is the sum is given then we need to find uh, this is going to be a data for a uh, time and a velocity so this is acceleration so we'll find the velocity first velocity we have to integrate uh, acceleration so v equal 4t minus 3 dt so v equal 4t square over 2 3t which is uh, 2t square minus 3t so that is v and uh, plus c now we know that this equation t equal 0 uh, t equal 0 v equal 4 so we will use this as a data 0 equal 0 minus uh, sorry 4 equal 0 minus uh, 0 plus c so c value is 4 now the equation is v equal 2t square minus 3t plus c now when v equal 4 we want to find this value again we'll put uh, when v equal 4 we'll find t we know definitely now one is 0 other one they will ask that is the one they want to know so 2 is square minus 3 t so plus c we found out 4 plus 4 equal c uh, uh, equal 4 now this is cancel out 2 t square minus uh, 3 t equal 0 t i can break so 2 t minus 3 equal 0 t equal 0 or t equal 1.3 over 2 which is 1.5 see t equal v of when we equal 4 we will get 1 and uh, when t equal t uh, basically this is the other t uh, so t equal capital t equal this is 1.5 actually best answer is uh, t equal 0 and capital t equal 1.5 x question number 11 and particle p travels uh, as usual in a straight line um the acceleration is given a uh, t minus 3 the velocity of the particle then we have given a data t equals 0 uh, and v equal 4 so this is time and velocity so then I will to bring it to a to a velocity. So velocity equal a dt. So v equal a is t minus 3 dt. So t square minus 3 t uh, over 2 plus c. Then we need to find c. Now we have the data when uh, t equal 0 v equal 4. So 4 equal uh, 0 minus 0 plus c. So c equal 4. Now we have the equation v equal t square divided by 2 3t plus 4. 
now we need uh, part b uh, to value the the value of t when p instantaneously at rest so p is at rest when v equal 0 will work out now t square minus 2 3t plus 4 equals 0 t square minus 60 plus 8 equals 0 this is going to be t minus 2 t plus 4 is 0 t equal 2 and t equal uh, this is minus 4 t equal to and t equal 4 so we need to find the distance between when t2 equal uh, distance first of all now we have the velocity equation we have to integrate this one to get the uh, displacement equation this equal v dt so this is going to be t square over 2 minus 3t uh, plus 4 dt this is going to be half a t cube over 3 minus 3 t square over 2 plus 4 t plus d is the constant so we know that uh, when t equals 0 uh, s equals 0 displacement has to be 0 then uh, we can take this one as uh, s zero equals zero minus zero plus zero plus d so d equals zero so s equal uh, t cube over six minus three t square over two plus four t now we can find when uh, t equal two s equal s s two so s2 equal uh, 2 cube over 6 minus 3 2 square over 2 plus 4 times uh, uh, 2 and when when t equal 3 let's say s equal s3 s3 equal uh, 3 cube over 6 minus 3 3 square over 2 plus 4 times 3 so then we will get uh, sorry this is uh, four, t equal 4 so this is we are going to get 10 over 3 and this will in uh, 8 over 3 so we will find the difference plus s1 minus s2 that is uh, uh, 8 s3 over s2 that is 8 over 3 minus 10 over 3 that is minus 2 over 3 the displacement so the distance is 2 over 3 meter question number 12 a particle travels in a straight line such that its acceleration e at time t second given by so acceleration is given so as usual particle move in a straight line and uh, a is given 60 plus 2 now there are two data as given one is this time and the displacement is so when t equal 0 when t equal 2 s equal 10 and t equal 3 s equal uh, 38 now 2 10 3 38 uh, now we want to turn this equation to uh, time and uh, uh, displacement then we can work out we can use this one to find the equation so this is acceleration so acceleration we want to turn to v then we produce a constant c then uh, v to s then another constant let's say d then there are two constant we are producing when we turn a to s 
so then two unknowns we need two equations so this is one equation we can substitute and this is the second equation we can get when you substitute this data so having this plan we'll go ahead now so first of all we equal a dt so a is 60 plus 2 dt that is v so 60 square over 2t plus c now v equal 3t square plus uh, 2t plus c now it is clear that we don't have any velocity time data given so we'll turn further to s displacement equal v t d again s v is 3t square plus 2t plus c dt then s equal 3t 3 over 3 plus 2t square over 2 plus c t plus d uh, because we have to introduce another symbol another constant so this is s equal t q plus t square plus c t plus d now we'll apply when t equal to s equal 10 so this is 10 equal 2 q plus 2 square plus 2 t plus d so this is 10 9 uh, 8 plus 2t plus d so 2t plus d equal uh, minus 2 so that is 2c so 2c plus d equal minus 2 when t equal then 3 s equal 38 so we'll substitute again 38 equal 3 cube plus 3 square plus 3 c plus d 38 this is 27 plus 9 uh, plus 3 c plus d so 3 c plus d equal 2 so this is 1 and this is 2 then uh, 2 minus 1 we will get the spread c uh, 2 minus 1 will give c equal 4. When c equal 4, we will work with uh, uh, 1 or 2 from 2. Uh, d equal 2 minus 3c, which is 2 minus 3 times 4, 2 minus 12, which is minus 7, 10. Now we have the equation s equal uh, t cube plus t square c e found out 2 2t plus 2t plus minus 10 when t equal 4 uh, we want to find this displacement will work out so is 20 equal 4 4 cube plus 4 square plus 2 times 4 minus 10 this is going to be 86 meter when we calculate and then when t equal t equal 4 we need velocity so this is the equation for velocity v equal 3t square plus 2t plus c equal 4 so v when t equal 4 is 3 4 square plus 2 4 2 times 4 plus 4 that is going to be 6 60 ms minus one meter per second this value is four or two c that is uh, four times four 
so, 6, 8, 6 meter. 